Feliz Domingo por la mañana, Pastor Jose and Patricia. We want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend. Amen. Uh, where we, a uh, church you can call home, where we honor God, love families, serve others, and pursue excellence. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Bienvenidos a la iglesia de nuevo comienzo. We want to welcome all our NBC family, our visitors, and all those joining you by audio and video. Yes. So praise God. You're not here by accident. That's it. Amen. God's got something for you. Yes. And you know, as a matter of fact, I just tell you right now, <laughs> say, Lord, you got something for me. Yeah. Amen. I'm going to have an attitude. Yeah, I've got an attitude. Lord, you got something for me. Thank uh -huh. you. I thank you now because you're going to talk to me. You're going to speak to me. Yeah. Yeah, he wants to. And we're going to continue with give yourself totally to him. You know, when you have a partner or, or, or you have a children, you know, you want to, uh, you work somewhere, you want to give yourself totally to what you do. Amen. Your boss wants you to be totally sold out to, to what you do. You just don't want to do halfway. And uh, I know you've uh, been an employee. Well, when you're an employer, you want your employees to give themselves totally to you. You know, a spouse, wife, uh, children, we are to give ourselves totally to him. So God wants to do the same thing. Yes, he, he don't want no uh, part-time kids. <laughs> Okay? Uh, Amen. Remember that <laughs> part-time Christians is no match to a full-time devil. That's it. We yeah. find a spiritual battle on a daily basis. And guess what? If you don't have the word in you to use, you're going to fail. Yes, and it's not his fault. It's That's our right. fault. Because we got to get the word in us. Yes, we do. When you get the word in, it's going to come out. Mm -hmm. Don't hold it in. Let it out. Amen. Amen. So, praise God. Woo, hallelujah. Let the word of God bless you. Let the word of God encourage you. Let the word of God change you. Let the word of God correct you, you know. Uh -huh. Once in a while we get out of line, you know, but still, hallelujah, praise God. He wants to bless us and correct us and yes, encourage us. Amen. Yes. So the Lord's not finished with you. That's it. This is only the beginning. This is a new day. <laughs> That's, yes, you know, when we first uh, studied, uh, uh, when we got the word the for the name for the church we 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 tried every name you know i picked everything from that i could see from from uh, internet from any anywhere and we always came back to new beginnings so we finally submitted it to the state and they said no you can't use new beginnings because somebody already has it so we chose new beginning church of the big ben they said hey you're blessed you can have it amen <laughs> so we got it hallelujah amen so Leave change. Leave a new you. Don't be the same every day. God has great plans for you. Be available. I can do all things. Be uh, greater as he that's in you than he that's in the world. I'm a winner. I'm a champion. I'm an overcomer. Yes. We're going to be talking about this all the time. Yes. But you got to put it in you so it can come out. you got to make a deposit so you can make a withdrawal. Amen? It's in me. I'm excited. I don't know about you. Yes. But we got to tell ourselves these things. Amen? Before we uh, get to going more, grab your Bibles. Yes. Amen. Thank and let's make this declaration together. Amen. Praise God. Here's mine. Yes. I won't get to yours. Say, so, well, God never talks to me. Well, once in a while, you got to grab your Bible and dust it off yeah. and open it up. And he'll Amen. talk to you every time. Amen. Thank you, so let's make this declaration together. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. This is my Bible. My Bible. I am what this I have. I have what this I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be talking with God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. That's for me. Yes. You grab it for yourself. Amen. We're going to be talking about giving yourself totally to Him. Surrender fully to Jesus. Let go and let God. You know, we talked about last week. Just a quick reminder that sometimes, you know, we got to step get off the throne so yeah. we can put him on the throne that's it. amen and we got to give him full control yes some of us uh want to just release a little bit and still be in control no uh -huh. we got to release totally to him and give it to him amen so praise god uh, those of you that are joining us by audio video we were i want to share this with you a couple of nuggets here i got for you mm. it's a little sign i have on my in my office in there it says ipad ipod I try and I pray. <laughs> That's the new thing. Right. You know, I pray we can do this. All of us can yes. pray. Amen. 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 You know, if you don't know nothing else, you can pray for what's going on in Ukraine right now. 
or you can pray for across the town or across yes, the world. That's right. Uh, God hears prayer. Amen. God is listening. Prayer is a wireless access to God with no Roman fees. That's it. Amen. Thank you, <laughs> so praise God. Let's remember that. Hallelujah. Thank, Thank you, Lord. And this is a new day. Today is a new day from God. Don't let yesterday's failures and pains ruin the beauty of this new day. That's it. Give thanks. Be grateful. Every day has its own promises of yes, love, yes. hope, peace, success, joy, strength, and many, many more blessings from God. It's a new day. Yes, it is. Rejoice. The Bible says, this is the day the Lord has made. I, yes. me, depends on what translation, but I will rejoice and be glad in it. And That's if you it. want to, you can personalize it. It says, Jose will rejoice and be glad in it. Uh -huh. Okay? So, you can say the doom and gloom if you want to, but... Let's rejoice and be glad in it. Thank yes, you, Lord. Yes. You've given me a new day. Mm -hmm. I can do all things through Christ. Amen. Spend time with Him before you step out and do anything else. That's it. That's the main, main thing to do. Amen. Amen. So let's remember that. Nice, nice, yes. nice, nice nuggets. Listen to this. Another spiritual nugget. And we'll get right into the Word. But it says, treat people with love and kindness. Oh, yeah. Not because they're nice. Huh. We all, all, we all know some people like this. Treat people with love and kindness, not because they're nice, but because you are. Yeah. Yes. Because you are a child of God. You know, yes. they abused Jesus any, any which kind of way. But still, he was loving, he was kind. So if we're going to put on Jesus, let's love people. Let's use his love and compassion. Yes, amen. Amen. When they yeah. see, I, I shared with the church earlier. You're the closest thing to a Bible some people will ever read. You're the closest thing to a Bible some people will ever be close to. So let the Jesus and you flow out of you. Amen. Yes. Woo. God shines through the cracks of broken people. Yes. So when you are close, so when you close your heart to someone, you close your heart to God. Mm -hmm. And you will never really know the true impact you have of those around you. You'll never really know how much someone needed that smile you gave them. Yes. You'll never n really know how much your kindness turns some someone's life around. Yes. You know, one day when you get to heaven, somebody's going to come up to you. Maybe a whole lot of people are going to come up to you and say, you know, you prayed for me. Somebody, Lord, put somebody in your in your mind, in your heart, in your spirit, and you prayed, and that person got saved Amen. because of your prayer, or that person got saved because of your <coughs> smile. Somebody, some some people got. Turned around because you shared with them and said, "Hi, yeah, God loves you, Amen." So God knows what to do, and we can just give him a little, and he'll take a lot. Remember the little uh, boy with the lunch? Yes. His disciples had already made up their minds. You know, hey, we'll just go back and tell the master, "You got thousands of people here, and there's a little boy with the lunch. What are you gonna do with it? You know, just yeah. send him home." He says, "This is what I got." He says, "That's all I need." We need to offer ourselves to Him, yes. and He'll take you and do, you know, miracles. He'll Amen. do many. He'll do lots, and He'll see more in you than you see in yes. yourself. That's right. And that's what we need. Remember, yes. That lunch was enough to feed the five thousand. Mm -hmm. There was enough to feed all that was there, you and know, take up yeah. twelve uh, baskets. baskets more. Yes. I mean, God is enough. Okay, He yes. is more than enough. More than enough. Ooh, hallelujah! Yeah. You'll never really know. How much your kindness turns somebody's life around. Right. Look at those around you through God's eyes. Yes. That's the main thing. When you spend time with Him, go into the world and you see people and you see things mm -hmm. through His eyes, His love, His compassion. Mm -hmm. Instead of trying to judge, you know, trying to be mean like them. Oh, or trying to tell them off like they told you are. Mm -hmm. No, be nice because you know better. You know the truth. And I'm free from all this stuff, you know. I don't yeah. have to live like the world anymore Amen. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna live like a child of god Amen. and they're gonna see my life shine this yes. is we used to sing this little song in, in children's church this little light of mine i'm gonna let it shine you know i'm gonna let it shine nobody can you know somebody tries to put your light out don't let them somebody take try to take your peace from you on a daily basis don't let them amen bring them into your peace yes amen let that light shine on them and say wow I see something different about you. Yeah. Well, you could have the same thing I have, amen? Because yeah, he wants us to share, amen? Mm -hmm. 
Woo! Look at them through God's eyes. You'll never yes. regret being known as <clears throat> for your kindness and your grace. That's right. That's right. You know, people always <laughs> jealous at you because you want to draw close to God and they want to, but they oh, won't boy. they won't release. No. They won't surrender totally to him. Mm -hmm. They want to hold on yes. to the world. And they want to please the world. And they want to please God. And you can't have both. You're either uh, hot or uh, cold. But uh -huh. don't be lukewarm. Don't try to just please men and please God. You can't hold on to both. That's you right. got to let go of one and get the other. 1 John 3, 18 <laughs> says, My little children, let us not love in words, neither in tongue, but in deeds. Uh -huh. and in truth yes that's the uh, King James the NIV says let us uh, not love with words or speech mm -hmm. but with actions and in truth yes, yes. Amen. amen not just lip service all right everybody a lot do yes. that okay yeah. let's not just say well yeah hey I want to pray for you as soon as they walk away you uh -huh. forget about it you forgot hey let's pray right here yes. well you know there's people all around us so <laughs> they don't mind cussing Oh, and they don't it. mind saying negative oh, things right in front of you. That's it. Hey, you know, my mom's having a bad time. My dad's having a bad time. My dad's in the hospital. Well, let's pray. Mm -hmm. Father, thank you in the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. See, why there's people around us? It's okay. They need to hear. Amen. You know? Amen. <laughs> Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Uh, John, uh, 1 John 3, 18 in the New Century Version says, My children, we should love people not only with words and talk, but with our actions in true yeah. caring. That's yes. good. That's good. Amen. In true caring. Mm -hmm. I mean, these are just the uh, same, same scripture in different translations. Yes. First John 3, 3, 18 in the Amplified says, Little children, believers, dear ones, let us not love merely in theory mm -hmm. with words or with uh, tongue mm -hmm. giving lip service to compassion. Yeah. We're treating compassion of God with only lip service. Yeah. It, it ain't going to work. That's it. But in actions and in truth, in practice and in uh, sincerity, because practical acts of love are more than just words. That's right. You know, the Bible says, John 3, 16, what? Mm -hmm. For God so loved the world. Yeah. That means people. For God yes. so loved people that he sacrificed his son. All right, now. Since whoever believeth in him mm -hmm. should not perish, but have an everlasting life. Amen. Yeah. Amen. So... Words are powerful. Yes, they know? are. We just shoot them around like uh, mm. don't mean anything, oh, and we're goodness. we're gonna reap the consequences, you know. So yes, we are. let's let's be careful. So there's uh, a few spiritual nuggets that I wanted to share with you, and of course we're still the praise team. They sang my song again, <laughs> and they sang about surrendering all. I surrender all yes. on a daily basis. Yeah. You know, you don't mind listening to work. You know, yes. Lord, I yes. surrender everything to you. I give you my everything. Yes. Amen. You, Praise God. So let's get into a lesson. Father, we just thank you for your word, Father. Yes. Open our hearts, open our minds, Lord, that we may be attentive to yes. what you have for us, Lord. Amen. Praise God. I have one more thing for you. Father, praise you. No, this is before we came to church. <laughs> and uh, this song just hit me. And if I sing it, don't run out, okay? <laughs> <laughs> but it says, victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. Yeah. And you can sing that on a daily basis whenever you want to. And, and it says, um, I told Satan, get thee behind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Victory today is mine. Yes. I'm going to tell yeah. him how I'm That's going good. to spend this day. I'm going to rejoice and be glad in it. But I'm also going to sing, victory is mine. Victory is mine. Victory today is mine. I told Satan, get me behind. Victory today is mine. Man, you can learn that. You can write it down and you can sing it everywhere, anywhere you are. Amen. But victory is mine. Amen. And yeah. Okay, don't leave. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all those, all those of you listening and watching, uh, don't hang up your phone. Then. <laughs> anyway, Luke, uh, for, uh, our text is, uh, excuse me, Luke 14, 12, 12 through 24. It's about the invitation of a heavenly feast. Amen. Okay. Jesus was saying to the host, yes. don't invite your friends and brothers and relatives and rich neighbors, for they uh -huh. will repay you by inviting you back. Yeah. Instead, invite the poor, yes. the crippled, the lame, and the yes. blind. Amen. Then at the resurrection of the godly, the upright saved, 
God will reward you for inviting those who could not repay you. For none of those who were invited first will even the smallest taste will even get the smallest taste of what they uh, have prepared for them. Yeah. Here we go. This is our text right there. Uh, Luke 14, 15 uh, through 24. And uh, also it's found in the Gospel of Matthew 20, uh, chapter 22, verses 1 through 14. But it's a parable about the banquet. Many are invited, but few are yes. chosen. You know, everybody mm -hmm. has the same invitation to come Christ. Yes. Receive salvation. Mm -hmm. And they reject it. Mm -hmm. Amen. So let's, let's go from there. So repairing each other will not be rewarded by God, but helping others are the needy will bring riches, re, rich reward from God. Amen. So let's remember God is love. First John 4, 7 and 8 says this, says, Beloved, let us love one another for the love of God, for love is God and everyone who loves is born of God and knoweth God. He who does not love does not love God for God is love. Yes. Amen. So we're to, we're here for one another. We're to love one another and help one another. Amen. Amen. So this is what the Word of God says. So in the text of uh, verse, uh, chapter Luke fourteen, chapter uh, fourteen, verses uh, fifteen through twenty-four, is a parable of the great feast. Mm -hmm. And this feast, of course, is God. And the feast is a heavenly feast of salvation. Mm -hmm. The day comes where this feast uh, takes place. And Everybody had an excuse for not for rejecting the invitation. Mm -hmm. Everybody has an opportunity yeah. now to receive Christ, and many are rejected. Yes. Yeah. Amen. So don't be one of them. Okay. Mm -hmm. Make sure you receive him. They yes. were abundantly, plentifully, and richly blessed. Yes. They were successful. They were too rich. Mm -hmm. We too. They were too happy, content, pleased. Had no time for the feast or him. Mm -hmm. They were ungrateful unappreciative, mm -hmm. unthankful, oh again, ungrateful, unthankful, oh, unmind, unmindful, yes. and no gratitude. Listen yes. to this. Mm. You see if this relates to that. Oh, wow. In 2 Timothy, you can write this down when you go home, you can read it. But it says, 2 Timothy chapter 3, just verses 1 through 5 says this. Remember this. There's some terrible times coming in the last mm. days. People will love only themselves and oh, money. They will be proud and boastful mm -hmm. about themselves. They will abuse others with insults. They will not obey their parents. They will not. They will be ungrateful and against all that is pleasing to God. Mm -hmm. They will have no love for others oh my and will live and will refuse to forgive anyone. Mm. They will talk about others to hurt them mm. and will no have no self control. They will be cruel and hate what is good. People yeah. will turn against friends. They will do foolish things without thinking, and will be uh, no proud in them, no proud in themselves. Instead of loving God, they will love pleasure. They will go on pretending to be devoted uh, to God, but will refuse to let the devotion change the ways they live. Mm. They will say, "Stay away from these people." This is the word of God. Amen. And this is just verse up to verse five. It yes, keeps yes. on going. Oh my Amen. But we're in the last days. We've been in the last days for a long time. Yeah, long. But, but, but you see these things happening now. Yes, yes. So that's why it's so important that you stay filled with the word mm -hmm. so you can stay strong. Yes. So you can have the foundation. So you that's can it. have the roots. That's Otherwise, it. you're gonna get sucked in. Oh yeah. Amen. Immediately. Really? Amen. Mm -hmm. So you got to stay rooted and grounded in Him. Jesus paid for our salvation. Salvation yes. is free, but you yes. have to receive it. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. You have to receive it. You have an invitation to heaven. You have an invitation, but you have to receive it. Remember the promised land? The children of Israel had a promised land. God had already given it to them, yes. but they never walked into it. Right. Yes. Amen. They had to receive it mm -hmm. and go in. Hey, God is for us. We can go in. It don't matter if there's giants in the land. Mm -hmm. On a daily basis, you go out, there's giants waiting for you. Yes, yes. But still, God is with me. He said mm -hmm. he never leaves us and don't forsake us. He yes. is with us. Yes, so yes. I cannot be defeated. Mm -hmm. That's what you got to tell yourself. God is with yes. me. I can't be defeated. Yes. When David fought the giant, he says, God is with me. You know, he was with me when I fought the bear, when I fought the bear and, yeah. and the lion. He says, yeah. No one can defeat you. Amen. You know, don't tell your God about the, your biggest problems. Tell your problems about your God. Yes. 
Amen. And we all have them, okay? Oh, yeah. But you know what? You can have peace and you can overcome with Him. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Glory. Yeah. <laughs> Salvation. Glory. We commit, we surrender, we give ourselves and our lives to serving Him and a life of, of servanthood. Of servant, being there for Him. You know, don't let anyone take you out of this. God wants to use you. You know why He put you here? He wants to use you. Yes. Mm -hmm. So don't let nobody, or como se llama, whoever it is, mm -hmm. someone just say, you know, God, it's not for you. God mm -hmm. don't want to use you. God can't use you. You got to make all these things. Yes. And you're not good enough. Mm -hmm. That's not what the Word of God says. Yes. I'm not receiving it. That's not for me. Amen. The Lord will well please and welcome you by saying, well done, good and faithful servant. Thou has been faithful in, in, in a few things. I will make you ruler over many things. Mm -hmm. He says, enter into the joy of the Lord. That's found in Matthew 25 and verse 30, uh, 30, 23. Mm -hmm. So now we're getting into the parable of the great feast. You, some translation says great feast. Some say great supper. Some say mm -hmm. the great banquet. Yeah. Still, the host has invited all these people into this uh, feast. Yes. But we need to invite, uh, accept the invitation. Yes. We can't make it to heaven without accept without all accepting right. Him. No. It's, it's a, accept, a, accepting is a must. Yes, and you know, I just kind of threw uh, John 14 6 in there. Mm -hmm. And if you don't know what John 14 6, oh, I'll read it to you. It says in the King James, Jesus says to him, He says, I am the way, the mm -hmm. truth, mm -hmm. and the life. Mm -hmm. No That's one it. gets to the Father That's it. but except through me. And the Amplified says it like this Listen to this. You got to read it in the Amplified. It says, <laughs> Jesus said to him, I am mm -hmm. the only way yeah. Yeah. to God. Mm -hmm. And the real truth and the real life, no one comes to the Father but through me. Amen. So you know what? All Come these on. were uh, richly people mm -hmm. that came by their way to heaven. <laughs> That's for Amen. Sure. Nobody mm -hmm. can make it to heaven without Jesus. going through Jesus first. That's so it. I need, you know, hey, he's inviting me to, to, to the feast, but I have to receive the invitation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That means... I got to be sold out to him. Yes. I got to give myself to him. Amen. Whew, hallelujah. Listen to this. Excuses kept many from accepting their invitation. Mm -hmm. Don't be one of them. Don't let self, don't let family, friends, jobs, careers, greed, pride, or being people pleasers, or just being lazy, keep you mm -hmm. out of heaven. Oh, yeah. Oh, the thing about it is, it's your choice. Yeah. You can't blame nobody else mm -hmm. because one day you're going to stand before God. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. One day you'll stand before Him mm -hmm. and He says, Why didn't you accept me? Mm -hmm. Well, so and so said. Mm -hmm. And so and so, and, and all yeah. your friends ain't going to be there. <laughs> Just you and Him. You and and now you got to tell me. Yeah. I put you on earth mm -hmm. to succeed. I equipped you with all you needed to fulfill yeah. whatever I called you to do. But you never used yes. any of these things. And you never accepted me. Mm -hmm. And then you say, Why? Yeah. You know, I don't want to hear him say, depart mm. from me. I never yeah, that's, that's right. Amen. That's right. What I want to hear is, well done. But you know what? It's never too late. So now is the time, you know. All you have to do is say, Lord Jesus, I, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Yes. And you make it a bad face. And you come, and he's right there waiting on you. Yes, he is. So it's not a lost cause. You can that's still, right. you still got, we still got time, you know. But yes. Why put it off, you know? That's right. Because you never know when you <laughs> when, when your time when your time is over. Uh, yes. sure. No more excuses. Reject sin and accept his invitation of salvation. Mm -hmm. Give yourself totally to him. Surrender all. Let go and let God. That's easy, amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> let go of, of all excuses mm -hmm. holding you back. Give your all to him. You know? <laughs> Jesus gave his all. Yes, he did. Yes. And still, after they rejected him and they crucified him, beat him. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Remember, he he had no sin. Mm -hmm. He didn't do anything wrong. The people, jealous people, uh, you know, crucified him. Yes. And still, they could kill him. They right. beat him. The Bible says they, you couldn't recognize him. He was beat so bad, and still couldn't kill him mm -hmm. until Jesus says, "Father, forgive him." And surrendered himself back to the Father. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. That's the only time that 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 that, that he uh, died. But then he rose again. So we're not serving. We're not serving a dead God. We're yes, serving yes. a risen Savior. Risen Savior. Amen. Savior. Oh, hallelujah. Glory. Yeah. 
God has already placed, listen, this is for you. <laughs> Amen. And this is for me. God has already placed everything in you to complete whatever mission he That's puts it. you on. That's it. Everything is in me. You know, don't don't cry to God and say, you know, I don't have what it takes. Mm. He sacrificed his son to yes, put sir. all those things in you. Yes. Jesus fulfilled his mission so that you can have all these things in you. Yes. He knew you before you were born. Yes, yes. And put you here. Mm -hmm. And now you got everything in there. But guess what? I know you all like sports, but you know what? Before you learn how to play football, before you learn how to play baseball, before you learn <laughs> how to do any of these sports, mm -hmm. you got to learn the rules. Yes. And you got to get them in you. Yes. So when you live in the game, mm -hmm. you know what to do. Yes. Well, you got to get the word of God in you yes. so you know what to do in this game of life. Yes. Amen. And uh, now I know all the rules, but I got to go by God's rules, not yes. the world's rules. Amen. Amen. Come on now. <laughs> let us, let, he's, he's equipped us to complete whatever he's called us to do. Yes. And we all have a calling. Yes. You're not exempt. That's it. You know, they'll say, well, you know, hey, once we die, that's the end of it. No, it's only the beginning. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. It's only the beginning. Where you go, you go up or down. That's your choice. Don't let somebody else do it for you. Okay. I have a choice. You need to confess him. He says, with your mouth. Yes. If you confess with your mouth, not moms, not dads, not mm -hmm. the priest or the pastor, but with my mouth. I, yes. Let us not get too busy to forget whose we are and who we are. Let us not get too busy like Martha mm -hmm. and forgot the master is there and inviting us to come, dine or fellowship with him daily, and we're just too busy. Hey, you know what? I always pray right before I go to bed. Mm -hmm. And you go to bed, you're so tired, you fall asleep. They need to finish <laughs> what you had to. Mm -hmm. You serve it first. You know, your, my priority is this. Mm -hmm. Matthew 6, 33, seek him yes. first. Yes. Seek him first. Yes. You know, when you first wake up, you know, before you, whatever you do now, right. seek him first. Mm -hmm. Say, Lord, here I am. Yeah. Amen, here I am. Just be there. Be grateful for all he's done for us. Renounce sin and serve God. Let go and let God mm -hmm. guide and provide. Yeah. Let God have his ways. Yes. Proverbs 3, 5 and 6 says, mm -hmm. trust in the Lord with all your heart. All your heart. Amen. Yes. And lead not to your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct my path. Yes. Amen. Man, you can't have a better GPS than that. Yes. Amen. <laughs> and you'll follow because I'm staying in tune with him. Mm -hmm. I'm not getting out of tune. You know what happens when your radios got out of tune, man? Oh, it just yeah. made all kinds of sound <laughs> noise. Oh, yeah. oh my God. I gotta tune it back in. Yeah. You know, you get off your GPS and that lady come on and tell you, no, you make a turn, you do this and you do this and get back on course. Amen. So some of us, you know, even though we, we've said, well, you know what? Repent and get back on the road. Yes. Amen. And do right. Proverbs uh, 3, 5, and 6 in the Amplified says this, trust in and rely confidently yeah. on the Lord with all your heart and not rely on on your own inside and understanding. Amen. God told me to do this, you know. Mm -hmm. And some of us go make a mistake and then we'll come back and say, I heard when you told me to go that way, but I chose to go this way. Yeah. I mean, but you know the world, there's a whole lot of people in the world going this to the to your left. Yes. Don't go to the left. God says, go to the right. And you might be the only one. Yes. But you go to the right. Why? Because you know something told me in here. Well, you know that something in there is the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Holy Spirit is telling you, yeah. go to the right. Yeah. Yeah, but there we got everybody going this way. And your friends and families and everybody else is saying, Hey, let's go this way. This is the right way. I don't think so. God is telling me. Holy Spirit is telling me to go right. And I'm gonna go right. And I'm gonna be obedient. Amen. Whoo, hallelujah. Lord. Don't rely on your own inside or understanding. And verse 6 says, In all your ways, know and acknowledge and recognize Him. Yes. And He will make your path straight and smooth yes. and remove all obstacles that are blocking your way. Amen. Amen. Let's remember, church, we're fighting a spiritual battle. Yes, we, are. we can't see. Okay? Only thing we do is we can see. That's the physical world. Uh -huh. With our eyes. With our spiritual eyes, it's into the spirit realm. Mm -hmm. Amen. And we don't fight flesh and blood. 
we fight spiritual beings in high places. Amen. Right. And and the only way to defeat that is, boy, they're already defeated. He, Satan is the defeated fellow, but still, we got to be in the Word. Yeah. Amen. We got to be in the Word. Hallelujah. Man, we're not going to finish on this. I'm not going to try to finish That's on right. this. When God calls you to do something, step out in faith. Yes. The Bible says, we have a thing up here that says, for we walk by faith and not by sight only. Amen. For we walk by faith and not by fear. Amen. If you're walking in fear, you're not walking in faith. You got to trust God. You know, he told Peter, come. Man, I have, I have a, a thing here that uh, says um, in Matthew 14, chapter uh, chapter 14, verses 22 through 23, uh, 33, Jesus walks on water. Mm -hmm. You know, he told, he finished with, with uh, giving his message and he told the disciples, you go ahead, I'll, I'll join you. <laughs> And guess what? There's no no boats around. Right. So Jesus walks on the water, and the the uh, the disciples are out there in the middle of the water, and it's windy. And all of a sudden, they see someone walking. Say, wait a minute, Some, that's a ghost. It's a ghost. They're walking on the water. And Jesus says, "Have no fear." He says, "It's me." When the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. It's a ghost. They said. And they cried out in fear. But Jesus, in verse 27, says, Jesus immediately said to them, Take courage. It is I. Do not be afraid. He said, Do not be afraid. So Peter replied right away. He says, Tell me to come to you on the water. Yes, yes. <laughs> he challenged Jesus right away. He said, Hey, I want to I want to be where you are. He says, All he said was, Come. Yes. He said, well, you know, I got to say, I got to put you some whatever <laughs> skis on you or whatever, you know. He, all he said was, come. That's it. And says, and then Peter got down, on, out of, got out of the boat, walked on the water, and came to Jesus. Yes, he did. Amen. This is the same Jesus that's for you. Mm -hmm. This is the same Jesus that does for you. Yes. Amen. He did it for them. He'll do it for you. Amen. Amen. But when he saw the wind, he was afraid and began to sink. Yep. Cry out. Lord save me. Immediately Jesus cried out, mm -hmm. reached out his hand and caught him. Yes. He says, Oh of little faith, you of little you faith. He says, Why did you doubt? Uh-huh. And when he which when he climbed into the boat with them, the wind died. Yep. Mm -hmm. Amen. The wind died. Then those who were in the boat whispered, <laughs> worship him, and said, Truly, this is the Son of God. Mm -hmm. You know what? He says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. The Bible says our bodies are the temple of the Holy Ghost. Yes. So he's always with us. Yes, he is. If you don't feel yeah. it's not it's not him, it's us. We right. walked away. Here's he never down. he never walks away yeah, from that's us. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah, that's good. Man, I lost my place. <laughs> <laughs> so For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Yes, yes. We walk by faith, not by fear. If you're walking by fear, God's not with you. Or you got to get your, your words right. Mm -hmm. And say, wait a minute, I need to fix this. That must be, I can't walk away from God. Just do it. Mm -hmm. You know, God used, just do it before Nike. <laughs> 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 Nike made it popular, you know, yes. and that's all millions and millions and millions. But you know, mm -hmm. God says, just do it. Mm -hmm. Come. He says, come. Mm -hmm. and, and Peter walked on the water. The Bible says, I can do all things through Christ. Oh, hey, Lord, I'm doing this because yes. I know I can do all things through you, Father. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Amen. No excuses. Trust him. Jeremiah 29, 11, New, a New Living Translation says this. I know the plans I have for you, says the Lord. Plans of being, of well-being and yes. not for trouble. To give you a future and a hope. Yes. God has chosen you for greatness. Say that. God Say that. God has chosen me for greatness. Mm -hmm. I mean, you need to confess such for yourself. Yes. You know, put some positive things in front of you in a mirror before you go out into the world. And say, confess those positive things. Yes. yes. You know, we're so good. You know, 
we know every worldly song, we know every worldly <laughs> show, we know every worldly thing. All right. But when it comes to learning the word mm -hmm. of God, we don't know. Why? Because we haven't been spending time with him. Mm -hmm. We haven't been spending time in it. But if we do, then we change our priorities. Yeah. Now I'm serving him first. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna unlearn the other stuff. Oh yeah. Okay? But we need to spend time with him. Also say this with me. I can do all things through Christ. 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 Who strengthens me. Amen. Yes. Yes. With God on your side, you cannot be defeated. Yes. Say this. God is on my side. God is on my side. I'm a winner. I'm a winner. Not a winner. Not a winner. I'm a champion. I'm a champion. Not a loser. Not a loser. I'm an overcomer. I'm an overcomer. Not a failure. Not a failure. I'm, a I'm a victor and not a victor. I'm above only I'm above and, not and not beneath. And not beneath. And I cannot be defeated. Why? Because Christ is with me. Because Jesus is with me. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let go and let God. So what motivates us to do? Receive Him. Accept Him. Amen. Serve Him. You know, as, 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 a, as a soldier for God. <laughs> and as, as a soldier, served, served the military for quite a few years. Now, our mission is be battle ready. Yes. You know, at your job, be ready. Mm -hmm. You know, whatever you're dedicated yourself to, your profession, you're a professional football player or professional whatever, be game ready. Yes, and what do I have to do? I got to know my game. I got to know my rules. I got to know what needs to be done. All As right. a soldier for God, I got to pick up this rule book mm -hmm. and read it and yes. get it in me. When things come, I know what to say. I know yes. what to confess. I know what to do. That's it. Amen. I'm not ignorant of his word. That's it. Because the enemy is going to try to confuse you. Yes. And he's going to put thoughts. Remember, uh -huh. the, you, your mind is a battlefield. battlefield. And you got to know mm -hmm. what his word says. Wait a minute, that's not what it says. It sounds like it, but it's not. So I'm not receiving it. I'm not accepting that. I'm not going that way. Amen. I'm going to do what the word tells me to do. All right. So be battle ready as a soldier for God. Mm -hmm. Because we fight a spiritual battle on yes, a daily yes, basis. Yes, yes. Amen. That's why it's so important. You renew your mind with the word of God because the battlefield is there and you're, you, 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 he just bombards you with all kinds of negative that's thoughts. It, it. Negative thoughts. Negative, negative. thoughts. Mm -hmm. you say, wait a minute. You got to wash it out. Yeah. Renew your mind constantly with the word of God. That's it. I say, no, that's not for me. You got to let it go. Pass it on. <laughs> yes. Let it go. Be, uh, let, let, uh, let go and let God. Mm -hmm. To be his witness. To be, uh, to complete our mission. Yes. To be heaven bound. Right. Be heaven ready. Yes. Right. Amen. Hey, you know, I think it was uh, Paul that said, you know, hey, I could go now if I want to. Oh. But God's got me here. Yeah. And I'm going to fulfill whatever God's called me to, to do. To That's it. Amen. But, you know, hey, to, to, to go to heaven from now, he says, it'll be a game. Mm. Right, amen. Yeah. But still, he's not ready for you. And he's not finished with you. If you're still here, he ain't finished with you. That's it. Right. Mm -hmm. So he still wants to use right. you. That's it. <laughs> yeah. So, some of us, we just got to get out for your como se you know, and, mm. and, uh, and get busy for God. Yes, yes. <laughs> he wants to use you. Amen. Yes. Ephesians 2 and 6 says, um, And rise up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. Philippians 3 and 20 says, Our citizenship is in heaven from which we also eagerly wait for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Yes. Bible tells us that this this is not our home. We're just passing through. That's it. Heaven is our home. Yes. We're just passing through. Amen. Praise God. Philippians yeah. 3, uh, 13 and 14 says in the, in the New King James, Brethren, I do not count myself to have apprehended. But one thing I do. Yes. Forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forward to the things that are ahead. I press towards the goal for the price of the upward calling of God in Christ Jesus. Amen. I got to press on on a daily basis. Yes. He never said, you know, when he gave us, he said, put on the armor of God. Mm -hmm. Everything is for protection in the front. Yes. Yes. There's no protection for the back. That's so <laughs> if you quit and you turn around, mm -hmm. your back is exposed. Yes. Your back is not protected. Correct. Mm -hmm. But as a child of God, we don't have to 
turn around and go back. Amen. 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 We're, we're pressing on. Press on. Press on. Amen. Yes. On a daily basis for the price that he's called us upward. Mm -hmm. Amen. So the day of the great feast comes and no one wants to take time to go. They all had excuses yes. for rejecting his invitation like mm -hmm. we do now in the last days. Yeah. Hard times mm -hmm. are coming. They were abundantly blessed, mm -hmm. too successful, too rich. They were too happy to take mm -hmm. time for the feast or for him, yes. just like now. Mm -hmm. Very ungrateful, un unappreciative, unthankful. I showed no gratitude. No. And again, you know, you can go to 2 Timothy chapter 3, verses 1 through 5, mm -hmm. and read it for yourself. Amen. Mm -hmm. But they begin to make excuses. Mm -hmm. I'll just go into a few of these, and then uh, we'll, we'll close. Amen. Yeah. But it says, the first one says, I have just bought a field and I want to inspect it. Yeah. Yeah. I bought the field. Mm -hmm. You don't know what you bought, but yeah. you want to go inspect it now? Why don't you go inspect it first That's it. before you bought it? Maybe you just mm. bought a, a mess. Yeah. You know, <laughs> you don't know what you bought. But that's not good business, Adam. Mm -mm. You know, that's a lame excuse. Mm -mm. Amen. <laughs> Let me see what else you got coming. Mean, oh, here you go. Don't, don't. He says, Luke 14, 15 to 24. Try a lame excuse. Tired of lame excuses. He says, invite a lame. They might do better. All right, <laughs> Okay. It's poor business for a man to buy property which he has not seen. Mm -hmm. Inspect before you buy. That's a sorry excuse. Number yeah. two says, I have just bought five pair of oxen yeah. and want to go try them out. Mm. You know, you just bought you a car. Uh -huh. But I haven't seen it. I just want to go try it now. Well, you might not have no wheels on it, you know. <laughs> but I want to go, I want to go buy it. It says, uh, try them before you buy them. Yeah. It could be old, worthless, or yeah. incapable of doing the job that you want them for. That's a lame excuse. Uh -huh. But everybody has an excuse. Mm, oh yeah. <laughs> I like the next one. <laughs> and the third one says, I have just been married and I cannot yeah. come. <laughs> this is the worst excuse of them all. For he could have left his wife for a few hours and oh, as he did and many other occasions. Uh, he, <laughs> he was not he was not asked to divorce his wife, but merely to attend a feast. Mm -hmm. Worst excuse. Leave the past wherever uh -huh. it will leave the past behind, whatever yeah, it involves. Yeah. Amen. That's it. So that's really what it is. But the enemy is always going to mm -hmm. bring these things. Yes. Reasons why we didn't accept the invitation for the feast of salvation made excuses not to accept mm -hmm. the invitation. Mm -hmm. A few more fears, spouses, uh, friends, jobs, uh, greedy. Mm -hmm. Uh, we'll be talking about these procrastination oh later <laughs> manana we use that word a lot manana when you want to do it oh manana and you know tomorrow comes and you say well manana mm -hmm. it's always manana wow. and you know what manana never gets there because yeah, it's yeah. always manana yeah. so we won't we don't we don't want to do that of course and penalties yeah. so what's your excuse we can start there next week All right. think about the many times we made excuses mm -hmm. to God. Lord, I'd love to, but mm -hmm. you picked the wrong person. Mm -hmm. You picked the wrong person. And we see a lot of people God used. You know, also want to remind you, some of these people God used, they were not perfect. That's right. No mm -hmm. They were in sin. Mm -hmm. Some of them had committed sin, mm -hmm. but God used them. Yes, he did. Amen. Still, says, you picked the wrong person. Mm -hmm. Moses says, I can't talk. Mm. He says, I've never done that before. I can't do it. Noah says, he says, build me an ark. He said, what's an ark? Mm. He said, well, build me an ark because there's a flood coming. He said, what's a flood? What's, what's an ark? Yeah. So we can join this and we'll finish these next week. Mm -hmm. Still, God has called us to do some things. And if you're just trusting in yourself, you're just going to say, I can't do it. It's mm -hmm. not me. You got the wrong person. Mm -hmm. On and on and on, whatever excuses you want. Mm -hmm. 
Let's 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 not go there, amen. amen. So yeah. let's not make excuses. You know what? If anybody's for excuses <laughs> more than a teacher, mm -hmm. <laughs> God has. Yeah. Because we have excuses for all kinds of things. Amen. Yeah, so we're gonna stop right there. Father, we thank you for your word. Yes, Help us, Lord, to grow from it, Lord. Yes. And be all that you want us to be, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. Praise God. Amen. And you know what? We don't want to close. We want to give you an opportunity. If you never accepted Christ, now's the time, you know? It's never too late. Now's the time. This message was just for you. Mm -hmm. You know, all you have to do is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. I repent. Come into my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Amen. And you know what? He's not going to turn you down. You like we turned him down. Mm -hmm. Amen. Our phone rings. Our door's not. And he's knocking, and we don't know, we don't answer. Mm. It's time to answer the door. It's time to yeah. answer the call. It says, <laughs> you know that friend request he sent you? Mm. <laughs> it's time to accept it. Yes. And say, Lord, come to my life. Be my Lord and Savior. Amen. So, praise God. And you just start it. And go to a place where they teach the Bible. Mm -hmm. And get busy for God. Amen. Yeah. He wants you to do great things. Amen. Yes, so, praise does. God. So, if you have sickness in your body, the Bible says, by Jesus Christ, you are healed. Yes. The Bible says that this body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. Yes. So, Father, in the name of Jesus, all those who are listening within the sound of my voice or watching, Father, we just thank you yes, Lord. that they are healed, Father God. Yes. Whatever they're going through, no malfunctions in these, body, in these bodies, Father God. Everything functioning normal in yes. Jesus, the way you created it to function, Father. In yes. Jesus' precious name. Touch them, heal them, Lord, and bless them, Lord. Yes. And meet all their needs, Father, in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Amen. Praise Amen. God. <laughs> it's time. Offering time. If you're watching or listening, you'd like to give your tithe or offering, mm -hmm. all you have to do is go to our website, nbcbigben.com, and just hit that donate button. If you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252, Marfa, Texas, 79843. Praise Amen. God. Amen. Preach myself happy. I hope that made you happy too. So God loves you and we love you. Amen. God bless.